Hi, my name's Josh Nicholl. I work at the Gumnut Patisserie in the Southern Highlands, New South Wales, and I'll be making a caramelised apple maple syrup cream with textures of pecan dessert dish. So we're going to start off by plating up the dish by piping the maple infused cream onto the base of the plate. Cream that I infuse with maple syrup and then have a bit of mascarpone and then whip it till it's nice and aerated and fluffy. We're then going to place the caramelised apple balls that have been caramelised with the sugar in the oven. So they're nice and soft texture with the nice caramel flavour. Place those on top of the maple cream, just three in various spots across the plate. Once those three balls are placed on the plate, then we go for the pecan crumble, which has a pecan praline inside, and it's been lightly roasted in the oven. Just a few little pieces of crumble gives the pecan flavour, but also gives a nice texture compared to the cream and the caramelised apples. Once that's gone on the plate, we're gonna put some apple and cinnamon gel that has been infused with some cinnamon and Calvados alcohol. This gives extra apple flavour and adds another texture to the dish with some complementary flavours, just a little bit. And then we're going to go for our pecan soil, which is just the pecan praline again, and then it's made into a light crumb for our burnt butter gelato to sit on top of. We're also going to add some uh, instant sponge, which is a great decoration and garnish, but also gives another texture, light and fluffy, very quick and easy to do, just with a siphon gun in the microwave. Just two pieces on each plate will do just fine. And then we're going to place our sugar decorations that we've pulled out of sugar. These are just going to sit in the apple balls to give some colour, but also some height to the dish. These are very easy to do by heating some sugar and then pulling it under a heat lamp to get a nice thin finish. They're also cut into the shapes of leaves. And then stems, final touch just before sending the dish is our burnt butter gelato, which is a gelato that's had the milks infused with burnt butter and then has been churned in to make a light and fluffy ice cream. There we go. The best piece of advice I've been given is that a chef does not produce an amazing dish once, but a chef produces an amazing dish consistently time and time again. What do you think, guys? Oh, I like this bit. Mm, that's really good. <laughs> Hi, my name's Josh Nicholl, and I'd just like to thank you all for watching my presentation of my plated dessert.